Welcome everybody and strap yourselves in as I give you the definitive rundown and predictions for the rest of the games in this League One season. I have just seen Forest Green Rovers beat Sheffield Wednesday 1-0, so it makes me think, why on earth am I doing this video? Because that result alone has put a big pigeon in amongst a shed load of cats. But hey-ho, we're going to do it anyway. We're going to see who gets promoted. We're going to see who ends up in the playoffs. And we're going to see if my beloved Oxford United get relegated. Oh, just the thought of that has just stressed me out a little bit. So you're either going to be delighted or you're going to be enraged. But remember, take these predictions with a huge lorry load of salt, because if nothing else, they are going to be slightly biased towards my team. But let's not waste any time. Let's look into every single game that goes on between now and the end of the season. We've got a couple of games in midweek, so let's start there. These games taking place on the 28th and 29th of March. You see Exeter at home to Barnsley and Cheltenham at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Well, I see two away wins for the two sides flying high at the top of the league. Barnsley are in phenomenal form. I see them getting a 2-1 win. And I see Sheffield Wednesday bouncing back after those couple of bad results that they've had. And I see Wednesday getting a 2-0 victory. Let's just see what that does to the table. That puts Wednesday back on top. Played the same amount of games as Plymouth by one point. Pusses Barnsley, helps them, moves them level on points with Ipswich Town. Both of those sides having a game in hand over Plymouth and Wednesday. Not much else has changed down the rest of the league. Moving on now to the 1st of April, April Fool's Day. Let's have a look at these fixtures. I've got Charlton having a decent run of it at the moment. 2-1 win over Ipswich Town. Cheltenham, important win for them. 2-0 over Burton. Derby and Ipswich, big game that at the, uh, I nearly said baseball ground then. Ba Pride Park, 1-1 one, one draw. I see that one being there. Barnsley absolutely hammering Morecambe 5-0. Fleetwood playing out a 1-1 draw with Exeter. My beloved Oxford United. I see them going down 3-1 to the posh. Just can't see Oxford getting anything out of that game. Port Vale 1, Cambridge 1. That's an important one for Oxford. Keeps Cambridge at bay. And this one keeps Forest Green at bay as Portsmouth get a 2-0 victory over them. Shepherd Wednesday back with a home win. 1-0 win over Lincoln. Wickham Wanderers doing Oxford United a favour with a 2-1 win over Milton Keynes Dons. Only 10 fixtures because of the, uh, the Pizza World Cup Championship Finals are being played between Plymouth and Bolton. So let's have a look what that does to this table. Well, it pushes Shepherd Wednesday four points clear at the top. Obviously, they played one more game. Another solid win in there for Barnsley moves them in to third place ahead of Ipswich, you get that 1-1 draw. Peterborough climbing up the league. Derby falling down the league as well. Down the bottom, not much change down there either. I don't think any of the sides picked up anything down there. Uh, so pretty much as you were which, from my point of view, isn't the worst thing in the world. Good Friday fixtures are up next, and uh, you can see already what I put for Oxford United. Not going to be such a good Friday for us, but we'll get to them in a little bit. Starts with a very, very disappointing, from our point of view, Accrington getting an important 2-1 win over Port Vale. Charlton go to the Memorial Ground, getting a 2-0 win. Barnsley carry on their romper stomp perform with a 2-0 win over Burton. Cambridge also picking up a win, which is bad for Oxford United. They get a 1-0 win over Fleetwood. Bolton pick up a good away win at Exeter. Plymouth get a good 2-0 win against Morecambe. Um, Forest Green Rovers put up a good fight, but ultimately go down to Derby by two goals to one. Ipswich get a 2-1 win over Wickham. That one could go either way. Lincoln 1, Cheltenham 1. That seems like a draw all day long. Milton Keynes 1, Portsmouth 2. That could be Pompey doing Oxford a big favour, but they're doing no favours for themselves because I see the league leaders come into town live on Sky and I can see them putting us to the sword here. Oxford United nil, Sheffield Wednesday 3. Things have got to get better for this Oxford United side. That would be 13 games without a win for Oxford United. Shrewsbury nil, Peterborough nil. Let's have a look where the table sits us after that one. Well, Wednesday, 
and Plymouth both get wins, so that moves them. You know, 87 points for Sheffield Wednesday, 83 for Plymouth. Barnsley hot on their heels on 81. Kind of wins for all the top boys there, wasn't it? So 79 for Ipswich. Derby moved themselves back into the playoffs after Peterborough's disappointing draw over the Shrews, but that is still a very tight run in. Pompey put themselves back in the mix for that playoff positions as well. Down the bottom... Oxford slip into the relegation zone for the first time. Well, for the, not for the first time this season, but the first time in a long time. Accrington get that win. It pushes them above uh, Oxford United and Oxford on 37. Stanley on 38. Is it brown trousers time? It is. Will it get any better? We'll see. Easter Monday sees Bolton Wanderers getting a big 3-0 home win over Cambridge. That's great for them, keeping that playoff dream alive. Charlton as well, continue doing well uh, just back into the season with a 2-1 win over Burton. Burton sliding down the league. I thought they were safe. Maybe not. Uh, Cheltenham nil, Ipswich Town 2. Derby 3, MK Dons 1. That's a good result for Oxford United and keeps Derby's playoffs hopes alive. Barnsley, no one seems to be able to stop Barnsley. According to my predictions, they get a 2-0 home win over Shrewsbury. Fleetwood 2, Bristol Rovers 1. Peterborough 3, Exeter City 1, keeping up their good form. And Plymouth continue the good form as well. Plymouth 2, Lincoln City 0. But this is where things might start to change. Port Vale 1, Oxford United 2, the first win in 13 games. The first win for Liam Manning. Let's hope that comes true. Pompey 2, Morecambe 0, Sheffield Wednesday 2, Accrington 1. Sheffield Wednesday just keep cranking out the wins. And so do Wickham, putting the bottom side to the sword. 2-0 win for the chair, boys. Let's have a look at the league table after that one. Wednesday moved to 90 points, but they're still not secured of promotion. Uh, Plymouth and Barnsley hot on their heels. All those top sides kind of won. So it's kind of like as you were at the top of the league. Not much really has changed in that Easter Monday fixtures. But Oxford have jumped out of the relegation zone. Just a couple of days in there. They jump straight back out of it at the expense of Atkinson Stanley. They jump above MK Dons as well. And Burton Albion firmly in their sights. Only one point behind them. But you're probably thinking, are we going to see some shocks? Well, just calm down, calm down, because the answer is yes. 15th of April, the round of fixtures starts with Exeter getting a big win over their fierce rivals, Plymouth Argyle. That one really is going to open the door for other teams around them. Peterborough United getting a nice 3-1 win away at Cambridge. Their rivals as well, and rivals as well, Accrington Stanley, not great for Oxford. They get a win 2-1 over Fleetwood Town. Bristol Rovers won, Derby County won, not the best result for the Rams there. Burton Albion nil, Sheffield Wednesday won, Sheffield Wednesday just back into gear now, doing what they did when they were on that long, unbeaten run. Morecambe nil, Wickham Wanderers won. Not a nice, never nice to see Wickham winning, but when they're beating the sides down the bottom, I can forgive it this time around. Forest Green nil, Barnsley three, Barnsley on fire at the moment. Ipswich on, on fire as well. Ipswich two, Charlton one, Lincoln City nil, Port Vale nil, MK Dons two, Cheltenham one. Again, that's not a great result for Oxford and Nevers this one. Oxford United two, Bolton Wanderers three, just like what we had against the Trotters last season. And it's Shrewsbury Town one, Portsmouth won. That leaves the league table again with Oxford dipping back into that relegation zone. It's a disaster for the U's. Stanley and Burton, one point ahead of them. MK Dons, two points ahead of them. It is tight down the bottom. Cambridge, Morecambe, Forest Green do seem like they are already down. But Barnsley have jumped above Plymouth into that automatic promotion spot. Barnsley 87, Plymouth 86, Ipswich 85, and Wednesday six points clear but played a game more with 93. 18th of April, a midweek round of fixtures. It starts with the posh going up to Accrington, getting a 2-1 win. Crucial win for Peterborough, that one. Sheffield Wednesday dropping points, nil-nil draw with Bristol Rovers. Bolton Wanderers carry on their good form of a 2-1 win over Burton. Wickham Wanderers in good form as well. 1-0 win over Cambridge in Port and one again. Wickham beating these sides down the bottom. You're doing us a great favour. Exeter 2, Dar 
Derby too. Great week for Exeter. If I'm important to these are correct. Beating Plymouth, drawing with Derby. Derby dropping. That's a could be a bad one for Derby County, that one. Forest Green get their first win in my predictions. A 2-1 win over Fleetwood. Ipswich hammer Port Vale by three goals to nil. Barnsley struggle away at Ipswich, Lincoln, but they do get the win. 1-0 win. MK Dons won. Charlton won. Oxford United won. Portsmouth won. Ex-Oxford United player and coach John Massinio throwing us a bit of a bone there as Oxford pick up a point against Pompey. Pretty much kind of guarantees Pompey not really going to get into the playoffs this season after that one. And Shrewsbury won. Plymouth won. Plymouth struggling away from home again, not being able to get anything against a stubborn true side. That is again put huge consequences on this league. Let's look at the top. Wednesday, four points clear, but still Barnsley have that game in hand. Ipswich into third. Plymouth dropping down to fourth, 88 points, 87 points. Still all to play for for those final two playoff positions. Bolton, Pl Peterborough on 76, Derby on 73. Wickham on 73. It's gonna it's a big, you know, a lot of points tally again in League One this season to get into automatics or promotion. Down the bottom of the league, Oxford jump above those uh, again, jump out of the relegation zone on goal difference after that draw. Takes them to 41 points. Dips Stanley back in on 41. Burton on 41. MK Dons on 43. Again, it looks like one from those four sides down the bottom are going to be in that final drop zone. Please. Match day 44 on the 22nd of April. Starts with Bolton Wanderers getting a 1-0 win and a tight game over the Shrews. Does Shrewsbury do anything other than tight games? It doesn't seem like they do, but Charlton will be disappointed with a 0-0 draw at home to Morecambe. But Forest Green, back-to-back -back wins. Huge away wins over their rivals, Cheltenham Town, by two goals to nil. Derby, big win in the Derby Shear Derby with uh, winning 3-1 over Burton Albion. <laughs> Oxford United fans, this one's not very nice, but I do see Oxford going to Oakwell and being very tidily put aside. Bottom spanked, sent back to Oxford with a 4-0 defeat. Not what we need, not what we need at all. But Fleetwood Town got a 1-1 draw against MK Dons. Peterborough 2, Ipswich 2. Ipswich dropping points for the first time in ages. P Plymouth capitalised with a 3-0 win over Cambridge. Port Vale 2, Bristol Rovers 1. Portsmouth 2, Accrington 1. Important one for Oxford, that one. Sheffield Wednesday, solid home win. That could be the title clincher for them. 2-0 win over Exeter. Wickham Wanderers 0. Lincoln 0. Wickham unable to capitalise on some people dropping points there. Let's have a look and see what that has done to the league table. Again, Wednesday still four points clear. Barnsley flying, though, in that second place. Seemingly like they're going to get that second auto spot. Plymouth move back into, th into third. Ipswich in fourth. Bolton and Peterborough. But you've still got Derby and Wickham breathing down their necks. Portsmouth outside chance. Don't think they're going to get it, though. Um, down the bottom, Oxford stay above that relegation zone. Despite that hammering at Barnsley, 41 points, 41 points, 41 points. Oxford, Burton and Accrington, but it is Accrington's goal difference that keeps them down there. Milton Keynes Dons probably feel like they've just done enough now. But let's not forget, Burton still do have two games in hand. And let's go to some of those catch-up games. 25th of April. Let's start with Lincoln City 1, Burton Albion 1. Just can't see Link Burton being able to go to Lincoln and being able to break down that wall that Lincoln often put up. 1-1 one, one draw in that one. Barnsley versus Ipswich. Huge game at the top of the table. I can see that being a draw. Uh, pretty much gungsling a game like the game they had against Sheffield Wednesday. But I don't see Barnsley winning it. 2-2 two, two draw in that one. Ipswich really needed to win if they were going to cut close the door and still trying to sneak into that auto spot they don't get the job done but oxford do get the job done huge 2-1 win over cheltenham town and to make things better bolton wanderers beat accrington by two goals to nil and plymouth continue dominating sides at home park to keep those promotion uh, chances alive with a 2-0 win over bristol rovers and let's have a look again. Let's have a look how that's affected the League One table. Most sides have played 44 games now. Bar 
Barnsley three points behind Wednesday. Looks like Wednesday have got that job done. Just a point in it between Barnsley and Plymouth. Uh, Ipswich looked like they've kind of blown their chance of automatic promotion, you would say. Down the bottom, Oxford, huge win over Cheltenham. You would kind of think that puts them clear of any trouble. Fingers crossed for the remaining games. But Accrington, Burton still in huge danger. You'd probably even say MK Dons are still clear. Penultimate weekend of fixtures in Skybet League One. Accrington versus Cambridge. Accrington need a win. Accrington gets a win. 2-1 win at home. Bolton with a big win at home to Fleetwood. Charlton with a big win at home to Vale. Derby really needed a win as well, but they can't get it against the po against Pompey. Sorry, nearly said the posh. Pompey, 1-1 one, one draw in that one. Morecambe going down 1-0 to Lincoln. Oxford United staying up, folks. That is the big win they needed. They get it. 3-0 win over Forest Green Rovers, Ipswich Town, 3-0 winners over it. Exeter. They needed to win. They did win. But so did Barnsley beat MK Dons 2-0 away. Peterborough, they needed the win as well. They beat Bristol Rovers at home. Plymouth, carry on. They, they pick up the win as well. 3-0 win over Burton Albion. It's Sheffield Wednesday, the side who dropped points. So maybe this title and promotion isn't decided. They draw 0-0 away at Stubborn Shrewsbury Town. And Wickham Wanderers keep the playoff dream alive with a 2-0 win over Cheltenham. So... Looking at this table, it is going to be tight, 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 isn't it? Sheffield Wednesday, 98 points. Barnsley on 97. Plymouth on 96. It is insane. Ipswich Town has added them out of automatic promotion. Now they'll be focusing on the playoffs. Derby, Wickham, still with a chance, but they need Bolton to Peterborough to screw up on that final day, and for them to and Derby need a big Wickham need a huge win. They need a big goal difference swing in that one if they're going to overtake Peterborough for that final playoff spot. Oxford United look nice and safe now. Well, they are safe, in fact. Five points clear of the drop zone. Thank goodness it's all turned around for the U. 16th place. Burton Albion are the side that find themselves in that drop zone. Accrington jump above them. MK Dons jump above them. Burton still do have a game in hand. Can they get a win in that game in hand? No, is the answer. Uh, Shrewsbury Town, Bristol Rovers first. Nothing to play for, so I think the Shrews will get a 1-0 win. I don't think I've predicted more than a goal for Shrewsbury in any of these games. I do apologise, Shrewsbury fans. Um, there won't be any watching it, so who really cares? Uh, and um, Burton Albion get a 1-1 draw against Cambridge. Cambridge really Sticking the knife into Burton there. Burton desperately needed that win, but they do not get it. Everybody's played 45 games now. So let's have a look at the league table, and it is down the bottom where the where the big changes happened. Burton claw a point back, but they need something on the final day if they are going to jump above Accrington. A point could do it if Aki lose. The goal difference is exactly the same. Milton Keynes Dons look quite safe because their goal difference is better than Accrington's, although they will be hoping that they can get something on that final day to just ease their fears but it's not looking good for Burton and we know that Accrington are away at the Kassam on the final day the nerves are jangling as we ha head into this final round of fixtures the 7th of May let's have a rundown it starts with Bolton getting a way win at Bristol Rovers, Bolton will be in the playoffs. Burton Albion don't get the win. They do not. They end up with a 2-2 draw against the MK Dons. The MK Dons, I didn't even realise that was the final fixture, but obviously MK couldn't have afforded to lose that game, and they don't, and it is a 2-2 draw. Forest Green go out with... A little bit of pride, a 2-0 win over Cambridge. Cambridge limp out of League One. Cheltenham won, Cheltenham won. A lot of these games are a little bit damp squibs on the final day. Exeter 2, Morecambe 1. So Morecambe are another side that limp out of League One. Barnsley, Peterborough. Barnsley have done it. Barnsley have done it. A massive game at Oakwell. Barnsley win a barn-storming game by three goals to two. And I think that is what's going to cement their promotion back into the championship fleetwood nil ipswich two so ipswich with, with finishing with 93 points unlucky for them but not only for playoffs 
They have to put up with the lottery of the playoffs, I'm afraid. Lincoln nil, Shrewsbury nil again. Don't have Shrewsbury getting more than a goal. Don't even have them getting a goal in this one. Uh, Oxford United won, Stanley won. I just see that one. Oxford nothing to play for, so Stanley are able to get the point they need. Port Vale nil, Plymouth Argyle two. We'll get to the scores, but obviously that has put Plymouth pretty close. Portsmouth nil, Wickham Wanderers nil. And Sheffield Wednesday 1, Derby County 1. Big game. It should be a game at Hillsborough to end the season there, isn't it? Some massive games. So let's have a look at those final league standings. And it is Barnsley who top Skybet League 1. They go back into the championship. Congratulations to Barnsley. And congratulations to Sheffield Wednesday as well. They get the job done. Coming in second place with 99 points. Barnsley get that 100 points total. It's a South Yorkshire double going back up to the championship. Plymouth Argyle heartbreak for them 99 points but they miss out on goal difference so they have to go in to the lottery of the playoffs along with Ipswich Bolton and Peterborough Derby and Wickham will be disappointed particularly Derby who would have had high hopes of getting straight back into a championship but not to be for poor warned Rams I say watch out for them next season but I have to say the standard at the top of the league has been first class all the way through the season to get that number of points for four sides to finish in the high 90s and one to get 100 is simply phenomenal down the bottom it is Burton Albion who could not get that win on the final day only a draw for them who end up in that final relegation space they go down to Skybet League 2 along with Morecambe Cambridge and Forest Green Accrington's draw against Oxford and MK Don's draw against Burton keeps them up Oxford United finished in 16th place nothing to worry about in the end folks I really hope that is how it plays out no fears Liam Manning has kept Oxford United up we'll be back next season bigger better and stronger watch out League 1 we're coming for you and that just about does it for my video no doubt some of you will be delighted by what I've said. Some of you will be enraged, but just remember what I said at the start. It doesn't really matter. Take it with a huge pinch of salt. It is just the ramblings of a crazy person on YouTube. But if you did like the video, please hit like. That helps me out a lot. And if you like the content, think about subscribing to the channel. Leave your comments down below of where you think your side or any side will finish at the end of the season. I will be back to do some proper reviews of some proper Oxford United games that are so scary because relegation is a real threat this season, but hopefully it will play out as I've put down here. Thank you once again for watching. I'll be back very soon.